Hey y'all, good evening, good morning, good night, wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. Um, how are you? Um, I must say just happy new year now since um, it's approaching new year and I may not make another video. This hiatus I've been taking from you all has been sorry. Um, and I, all I can do is every time I come on and make a video is apologize because um, I do consider these my video diaries. And I haven't been sticking to my, it doesn't constitute a diary if, uh, in my opinion, if I don't kind of write in it often, if you will. Um, normally people journal every night. Normally people journal every month. I don't know. But the, the frequency is just real off. And I'll be having a lot to say, yeah. And I'll be just trying to tell y'all and... I, when I'm in the moment, it's like, oh, where's my phone? Where's my computer? And that's not always realistic in, in not to just stop and do. I just feel some things. I feel passionate about it, and I don't even get to say it. But since I have the time now, I'm like, yeah, before I hit this sack, let me expose some of my thoughts and reflect back on 2014, as cliche as that may be. But I will do just that. Um, one being that uh, I am doing real solutions now. That is my take on resolution. Because I am one of those people that have made resolutions in the past. And have never stuck to it. Never really thought it out. Said it because it felt good. New year, new me. So if you hated that type of person, that was me. You would have hated me. And I feel like not just this year, but the years prior, just I've been growing and seeing that I am stubborn as a bull. I am a Taurus and I live by that. Um, and it just, it hurts sometimes because you grow in, in a lot of um, decisions you make, in a lot of situations and obstacles you face, you grow with seeing versus letting somebody just come up to you and tell you that, hey, you're going to have to do this and it's it's going to go bad if you don't. And that just doesn't work for me. I, I learned through experience, which is a good and bad thing. But I said all that to say that these real solutions are realistic resolutions that I'm making um, to myself that in regards to my health, in regards to my attitude, in regards to me building strong, uh, tangible, um, permeable relationships with others. Um, that's all in changing attitude, learning patience. And I don't know if it was with you all or just in general, but was 2014 just like the roughest year for y'all? Like, cause I felt like it, um, showed me a lot, not necessarily rough, but just rocky. Um, a lot of obstacles, a lot of work and it, but it was good. It was like, okay, it showed me a lot about myself. And, um, I noticed I spoke up sometimes in more situations than I normally would. And I actually didn't speak up in situations that I normally would. It's, it was weird. I'm learning to shut the hell up. Yeah. I'm learning to uh, speak up when needed. Um, still working on it, though, because the balance there is like, okay, shut up. It's not your time. But I'm learning that. I'm also learning that health is important. Not saying that I, I was thinking like, oh, it wasn't. It's just that. I got to a point, you guys, I'm going to just tell y'all, I'm going to be raw because, you know, I'd just rather be real with you, that I got to a point in weight loss and health-wise that I was just like, that's a crock of shit. You know, I got to that point where I was just like, I'm going to do what the hell I want, when I want, how I want, because that's just a whole part of be me, me being me. I'm a control freak. I'm a... I am a B-I-T-C-H at heart, and I just have to have it my way. So one of the things that weren't wasn't going my way when I did not see results, I'm one of I'm a very impatient person. So when I wasn't seeing results, it just put a damper on things. And it surely deterred me from even working out. So now I'm like, you know what, let's make some baby steps. Things that people have been telling me all this time. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, let's just do it because 
I have to be there for me. And that's my real solution. Out of all this stuff I told you guys about me trying to communicate better, being more patient, being more a better person, just being more lovable, attitude changes, all that comes with being my own supporter, being my own cheerleader, rooting myself on. I'm thinking now my real solution is just devoting more time to me. And if you're that person that feel like, oh, well, that's just selfish. Actually, this is a selfless act. If you are just one of those people, such as myself, that feels like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders and you're carrying your family, you're carrying your things, you're carrying everybody else that that you feel that you need to, when you don't need to, you just do that and you stress yourself out. You got to keep yourself healthy to even carry those people. That is a selfless act because if you have nothing to give to yourself, you are going to wither away. I recently watched a um like a interview it was like I don't know generations with the Pinkett family like Jada Pinkett and it was like Willow was there and I think Jada Pinkett's mom and they were slowly talking and Jada Pinkett just kind of opened up about like really just letting go stop holding so tight to what do, what do you need what do you need what do you need what do you need and and looking reaching out and getting everybody else situated and forgetting that you're standing right there at the end of the day you're completely drained you have nothing to give yourself so my advice and my real solution I give to you that I hope that you take and hope that you kind of give to yourself is give back to you you're doing a lot you're you're the only person you're not paying attention to is yourself. And if you're just one of those people that have already gotten this already, help us out, you know. Leave your comments, you know, and just let me know if this is, you know, let me know what you think first and foremost. I'm one still firm believer that resolutions are a crock of shit. If you're not moving forward and if you're not really trying to really resolve something that's what a resolution is then it's just something you're saying you're gonna do they got people that mock these these resolutions people throw out there all the time they're like i oh, ain't gonna do nothing they tired of hearing it because they know these people sometimes are as stubborn as i and just go back on their word and it hurts because you're you're lying to yourself you know so at the end of the day let's just try to bring in 2015 not saying a clean slate because people think wipe everything clean no take your baggage with you and let and shed off unpack shed off what you don't need so you have to take your baggage with you when you when you go on a trip you pack right pack your bag and move into something you have to pack a bag. People always want to say, leave your baggage behind. You cannot. That is impossible. Can you stop smoking today? Can you put down a pack of cigarettes and just stop completely cold turkey? Not everybody's that willful. Not everybody's that disciplined. And for that, you have to pack. Be ready for 2015. So... If I've even given you the slightest um, encouragement, I hope you take it and just have a good, happy new year. Um, I will try my best to, to, you know, resolve the issue I have with YouTube and posting frequently and whatever. But this is my outfit. So I'll try to give more to myself, which is this one of these things um so you guys have a good night i'm gonna try to get another thing that myself needs which is rest bye <laughs>